Hello Farming Simulator friends. This time a video with a little bit other kind than my normal videos. This time I want to show you how you can self-made the mods from my GitHub repositories because I do not make the downloads ready anymore to save time. But first, some other stuff. The reasons why I do that is my mods will only be published on the Giants Mod Hub. So all other sources where you find my mods and which is not linked to the Giants Mod Hub are illegal. Even Mod Hub US is not a legal site. I found there illegal my uh, published mods to download from Facebook. What? Okay. So the only exceptions from this is mods which could not be on the mod hub because of there are different reasons why um like there is always a, already a mod which does similar thing things or uh the uh, age control says okay this is not uh not uh, for for zero aged um persons or something like that that will then be only published by me on my share mods account also there all other sources will be illegal the reason why i do that is i want to limit the time and i want to have one source where every everybody can find everything and i need to earn money with that i want to be honest with you um for me it is in the meanwhile more than a hobby i have server costs i have costs for visiting farmcon and other um, locations I need to make good mods and these costs must be um, somehow paid and therefore I make this decision and uh, even if uh, making the version ready to download in the github um, takes not much time but in the um, when you see the amount of mods I have and the amount of versions I have done in the FS22, you can imagine that this will summarize to a huge time. The other thing is, when you want to have support for my mods, please do that in GitHub. GitHub is the main source for any um, reports of mods um, and their issues. But if you before you post an issue, check if you have don't have errors in your log from other stuff and first search for it. Uh, for example, the tree problem with self-planted trees in my info display extension mod is already known and you see here all duplicates. I can understand that you don't find the original um, error message where is is where it is fixed with. Uh, because of not everybody can write German and this was reported in German. Uh, but when you see here, oh, it's already reported as duplicates. Hmm. Not needed. Go in and uh, make a notice that you have the same error. Perhaps post your log to it. Fine. When you post, when you make um, an error message, um, an, an error report, add always your log and a screen to directly understand what you have to directly check which version you have to directly see if there are for me if there are any mods with errors to check if that if an error in another mod could cause an error in my mod or is it my mod also you can see inside here you have the projects and, and there you have my projects. There you can see what I'm working on and not. You see what is planned to do in the future, what is currently be done. I'm working on the Web Objects Hider uh, for the FS25. Um, what is reported but needs to be more information. Uh, in this case there is no log so I could not check what I need. Uh, what is fixed already for the next mod hub release, um, but not sent to the mod hub, and what is already done. So done means 
even if it is not published in the mod hub, it is sent to the mod hub. Or it is a duplicate, or it is a won't fix. Yeah. Um, that is to get support from me. You are also welcome into my Discord to discuss first things before you report to a thing which is perhaps a wrong usage of one of my mods or not even not a ticket. When you want to support me, you can do that by via Twitch or YouTube. You can make an, um, a paid uh, subscription there or you can e uh, just uh, follow me and uh, um, look my videos and um, and even this will already support me and also when you only download my mods over the mod hub and if you are liking my mods um, giving them stars uh, I love five stars but giving them stars as you want nothing of that must but it will be nice if you do so um, so now coming to how to build the mod and so you go on my page you go to for example the stuffed workshop uh, which is currently test in testing from giants um, you want to have the newest version so when you are familiar with git and you have checked it out you can skip the download but all others will needs to download so then open the download location which should not be your mod folder mod folder is not a download location you can right click and extract it sorry that the my my uh, operating system is german um, you can extract it into a folder and then you have here the folder and inside that folder you will have the files you also see here to go the next step you need the program 7zip this is a free a free tool i will also link below the video in the description um it's just to pack and unpack files so you need that and then you will find in most of my mods not all i will add that to the uh, the missing fs25 mods when i work the next time and you find, you will find a build.cmd a command file just double click um sometimes he making such a thing um then you can say do it anyway what he then does is he pack the mod into the zip file with the correct name and as you see not everything is in here and this file you can use in your mod folder that's all but be warned using the newest github version does not mean you have an error free tested mod it's always a version a snapshot from what is currently in the github could be that there are errors you never know i never know but there you can on this way you can get the newest version from the developer as you want it i hope that will help you to get uh, the newest version if you want to and if anybody asks how to do it just link this video and uh, it would be nice when you tell me what you think about my video in this time have a nice day and have fun with my mods